Okay, Elizabeth. Hi, Russ. Continuing on. Now we are again uh, back here. We just are helping Sven Alf and Anna Maria take the gates. And we're now sort of taking a transect here. Yep. And if you look at the distribution of uh, poops, it's highly non-random, non-uniformly random. Yeah, where we were walking before, we were very clearly along a cow path the whole way, so it was full of poop every few meters. But if you look here, you see there it's not a path here, the, yeah. and you just see a few odd Yeah, poops. so they have somehow preserved a large area here for their sort of grazing zone or something like this they've created, where yeah. there are hardly paths through it. We don't know until we map properly and study this with video footage. Yeah, or it's completely sort of unintentional that they just, the poop comes out when they're walking and that happens along their paths. Yeah, yeah, but my point is that there are no paths here, right? So why are they choosing not to have paths everywhere? Ah, that's what you Exactly. Mean. Well, I think most animals stick to, they make paths and stick to them because it's easier to walk along a path. Just yeah. like we humans do, we make roads because it's easier to travel. Yeah, along yeah, roads. sure, sure, sure. So. But yeah, it'll be interesting to know this in a lot of detail, I think. Because what I like about this field is that it's sort of self grazed by the cow herd, as opposed to us managing it intensively beyond just uh, the perimeter, right? Yeah. And this also seems quite uh, heavily grazed. Yeah, but yep. now we're... Yeah. And you see the pee, pee also, where they peed a lot. Yeah. Because it can be uh, quite uh, strong, so yeah. it's, it's tough for the vegetation to, yeah. to stand it. Yeah. Is this moss here? Yeah, yeah. I noticed some patches of moss, actually. That I didn't notice uh, earlier in the season, but I think yeah. you know once you graze so that they they get some lights and the competitors disappear, the moss can grow a bit. Would be my theory because I don't think they eat the moss. Yeah. And in the end of the season, you don't have this burning sun that would dry out the the, the mosses. Yeah. And there's been regular rains. Yeah. And and the dew overnight. So possibly this creates conditions. You see, there's quite a bit of moss here. Yeah. So we possibly created conditions for the moss to increase. And this is one of the common moss species. It's mainly this one species, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'd have to brush up on my moss taxonomy, but it, it's one of the common ones. You can see it yeah. up close here. Uh, yeah. and we're going to walk along Taking the path again. Yeah. Yeah, now we're back on the path. <laughs> and they also raced just along the super desert, cold. <laughs> right? So there was one of them who would also be out outside. Yeah. So uh there's so you can see that it's clearly been grazed here, like as far yeah. as they could easily reach. Here it's really like it's you such, can really a, see such the a path. defined path. Especially like they go really down. walking on a line. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and there are several interesting paths. Yeah. Some crisscross across the field, some go along the perimeter. Yeah. I get a feeling that they kind of walk the perimeter every day. I don't think necessarily to like look for a safe or anything like this. Uh, no, but remember even on field one, uh, they, and also in different paddocks in field two, remember? Yeah. They were actually eating everything on the edge first. Yeah. And then pooping and then moving inwards. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Predominantly. Yeah. So that's a very, very structured, basically structured poison process of like eating behavior and pooping. Right? Yeah. Uh, I wonder what you learn about this in the literature. Do you know about
about cow pooping model. <laughs> For not, some pooping not, processes. <laughs> not really. And you know, if, yeah. the, if, the, if the poop would be under dispersed or over dispersed, because they're clearly not randomly yeah. dispersed. Because cow patties are quite easy to identify with freshness yeah. using a standard uh, classifier. I don't know if anyone has bothered to look into that and especially to look at it on fields of different sizes. Yeah. So if they pee in different ways, if they're pee ranging compared to in a big paddock, compared yeah. to in a small paddock. Yeah. So yeah, again, if you look at the field there, you see that that species, the one that's dry and black, what is it? They like it when it's fresh, but they don't like it when it's dry. All the stuff. Uh, yeah, so the, the way flowers. over there, yeah. there's a lot of the thistles, yeah. which they really like in flowering season. But mid-August, they came in here, they had already started seeding and started wilting a little bit. So they were yeah. not preferred. And by the time they were running out of other food and would have eaten them, they were already completely brown. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas here, a lot of these strong. This, is, this, is, this the is the other one. Yeah, it's a Rianfana in but Swedish. But see, they've taken all the flowers. Although yeah. the flowers were dry, they've taken Yeah, at them. the very end. They've, so this is the shriveled up. So yeah, Rianfana in Swedish, which is one of these that is not preferred. Mm -hmm. We know this. They left it to see, the end. They nipped each flower. Yeah. Bud. So I think by the end now, when they were kind of running out, they still because then they get the seeds, which have a bit of nutrition in them. Mm. Yeah, that's nice that they took those because a few weeks ago those uh, flower heads were still yeah. there. And you These see here, they left behind. them, yeah. This one is red. This is the Rian oh, okay, too. It's the same, to you see the, it's the same leaves. And it's these with the yellow, yellow sort of button flowers and late in the season. So sometimes they eat the mum and the yeah, I think they were kind of getting to them now, towards the very end, but you see a lot of them are left. Uh, here it's quite nice and green. This is a lot of this uh, Midsommar Romster. I'll have to brush up on my English names for the common plant species. Sorry, Hunkex, I'm, I'm confused now. The Hunkex, one of the very common ones that flowers early in the season with white flowers. Yeah. And this has become really dominated. And look here, one. there's another big green pack. Oh, here we've got some really late flowering. Look at this, they're still going strong. Smarblumma, this is the one that is, if it's fresh, it's poisonous to horses and cows, so yeah. they always avoid it, they never eat yeah. it fresh. Dried up in hay, it's supposedly fine. Honey, yeah. I think it's time to do a, the winter shit post. Look. The stuff winter shit post. Stuff is growing out yeah. of the shit. Do you have any sticks to use or anything? Yeah, let's do it.